Yeah. Are you happy now, neighbor? I was just Are you at happy it. that I have made this as specific as possible? I, I don't know why you gotta be like that. Army versus Austin here in loser semifinals, and this has certainly been the toughest out of all of the DFW players for Austin to consistently get sets on. Absolutely. Now, starting off, we're gonna see how well Austin deals with this space. Austin's not one to shy away from uh, big spaces against uh, projectile heavy characters. He consistently plays almost full sets against MBD on PS2. He's not, he doesn't afraid of anything when it comes to stage selection. Oh, dude, are you hinting at Halo and Smash? No. Anyways. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Master Chief should not be in Smash Bros. I, I agree. But anyways, you know, you were, you were saying that Austin does not shy away from the big space because he knows how to take advantage of it. And I think the big part of that is using that side magnet to just fly across the stage. He zips it. He is eating army alive with these PK fires. He just down aired that purple Pikmin. And, that, and the big thing is, you know, I mean, the Pikmin activate the PK fire. Oh Even if it's a red Pikmin and it doesn't take damage. Wait, how did he kill him? PK Thunder. He's at like 110. PK Thunder. It's Are a wild move. Wow. All right. All right. I think I'm good. Yeah. I think I'm good. I'm uh, good to see how this goes I once know, again. I don't know if Army's feeling the same. No. I think Army's like, can I please just have a Pikmin alive? They're all getting burned to crisps. I mean, we saw Cheeks do it in Winners, and we're seeing Austin do it now. They're playing a genocide run of Pikmin. Yeah. It's it's sort of like, you know, you think, you know, obviously you want to focus on that with, you know, Rosalina's Luma, right? And you say, yeah, I want to focus on that. It's a big threat to me. The Pikmin are just as much of a big threat, even if they're easily replenishable. Austin, you gotta watch out which Pikmin is up smashing your shield. That purple one, you are not gonna be able to punish. And that right there, Austin recognizes. It's the purple, there's plenty of shield sun, and he says, okay, I'll just run away. Man, the best part for Olimar in that situation is he leaves the Pikmin there, the Pikmin's spinning, keeping you stunned and shield, and he can run around. Oh my goodness! Army, having that purple Pikmin on deck to just quickly pop. Okay, Pikmin actually Stopping the fire there, but again, a genocide run, getting the Pikmin out the way. Only the purple is left. And, and it that's... tanks that PK Thunder. Mm -hmm. Now he has to recover low. Down smash is going to do it. The no fact, hitbox. The fact that those Pikmin get hit by the projectiles is such a double-edged sword mm -hmm. for Army. Because on one end, yeah, takes care of the PK fires, and he's not going to get hit by them. But on the other hand, his moves just disappear. Yeah, his moves just disappear. They're gone. We go forward throw. He's going to get some good damage set up at the ledge. There we go. A fair battle between these two, and Ness wins. He's got a bigger disjoint. But one big change that uh, Olimar did to have in this game is now his uh, aerials don't actually just lose to everything. His Pikmin, when they're his aerials, aren't treated as items the way they are normally. They're oh. treated as like swords. Okay. Yeah. Wow, the, so that, that explains a lot, actually, yeah. about why Olimar's so good in the air in this game. Yeah. On the ground, like his up smash and stuff, still trades or loses just to any attack hitbox, but his aerials. Yeah, you are can see swords. right there. Yeah. yeah. Good call. I had not been looking out for that, and this is starting to make a lot more sense on why Austin is still able to press buttons when Army's on the ground. Mm -hmm. There you go. Not worrying about that purple Pikmin on him. Now Austin's kind of on the ropes here for the stock. Oh, the oh. shield broke. Cring! See, I love that. He tossed out the pick, the uh, red Pikmin just to reset up his lineup and then just go for the forward smash from the purple. Set it up properly. Because Olimar actually can't charge to do extra damage right now in this patch. Uh, I think in their attempt to fix the World of Light shenanigans with Olimar, they removed his ability to do extra damage when charging a smash attack. Oh, really? Yeah. It is so sad. Alexa, play Garden of Hope. Oh, God, I forgot that people actually have those things. I'm sorry if I totally set off your Alexa at home. Yeah. I'd be impressed if it knew how to play Garden of Hope, though. <laughs> Man, Army has been holding on to that Garden of Hope right now. He was down two stocks to one, and now he's the one that's got Austin at kill percents. He was definitely in the driver's seat for a moment, but Austin took stage control. That just goes to show, man. Oh, Omar! Builds up the damage so quickly, and he just fired at him. He was caught in PK fire. Austin thought, clearly, this is my time to go approach and pressure, even if I don't have a guaranteed follow-up. And Army just forward smashed. Just forward smashed. Yeah. That, that looked Rosalina and Lua-esque. Yeah. Very quickly was able to shift out of the PK fire, 
and mashed on that C-stick. Said Pikmin, let's go, man. We got a game to win. And now looking like he's got a set to win. We haven't seen Austin get out this early in a shockwave before. Again, I have to reiterate, this is still two out of three. Still two out of three. This is not finals yet. Maybe the last two out of three of the night. Yeah. But it is still two out of three. Still two out of three for this last set. Loser gets fourth. And winner continues their run through the bracket. Be very interesting to see a top three, a best of, to see Austin not play a single best of five set all night. If you all don't know about Austin, which would be shocking, considering the waves that this guy's been making with this character, he is undisputably the number one here in DFW. And uh, I showed it every night on Tourney Locator, mm -hmm. of course, but this could be the night where he is shown to be quite vincible. Oh my goodness, Fairward, though he was finally able to find his first hit in this game, Army was running so solidly, took a quick 70%, and the edge guarding was insane. Like you said, man, those Pikmin act as swords, and swords are just some of the best thing for edge guarding. Disjoints just keep you so safe out there. Yeah. No, Ness still does have a better time in this game against swords, and uh, disjoints in general, because he has his own that are pretty solid. But it's always nice to have a disjoint on your side. That up air juggling is nice. And we got the ledge trap going. Ooh. Oh, he committed to the down smash, so Austin was able to find his way out. But that back air, not quite going to do it. Austin's DI is great. He doesn't Phenomenal. have an air dodge, though. Phenomenal DI. Army missing that down air on the ledge. I think it's just mostly afraid to you know, challenge that PK Thunder, too. He's been caught in hot water with it before. And once again, that purple soft smash is shape on shield. And Austin keeps trying to punish it with a grab. Ooh, PK Thunder. There we go. Jumps right over the forward smash, though. Hovering a little bit with that floaty nature of his and comes down with the back air, taking the first stock in the game. But, oh, my God, do dodging that grab with the with the Psy Magnet. That Psy Magnet was twofold. Not a, he wanted to drop down fair. Drop down fair. Yeah, but uh, going back to that Psy Magnet because it was so big, not only, yes, did it float him above that grab and keep him from getting in sticky situations, but he also killed the white Pikmin on him, which you saw him trying to do earlier with it. He has no Pikmin. Dodges to pull them. He knew he could run away. Ness isn't the fastest character in the world. This is where that space comes in for Army, right? Olimar's actually pretty speedy despite his size, and he's able to get away and pull them Pikmin. Again, though, that Psy Magnet stall is great for shifting Austin's landing, and Army's not catching it as easily. This time, dashing so quickly away from the fire. Ooh. Smash doesn't get much for him, surprisingly. I thought he would have been able to find a big combo on it just because normally that's the that's the starter for all of our. Up smash trying to catch. Now he can set up a down smash. No. Afraid to. He thought he didn't have time. Yeah, maybe expecting Olimar to come up with the getup attack, trying to set up a punish there. Oh, Austin continues to try to challenge Army coming off the ledge with those Pikmin. But the hitboxes are so big. Ooh, oh, so the scary. extra range. Max range, but luckily. For, uh, luckily for Austin, even though it was charged, it still did base damage. The thing about those uh, those yellow Pikmin, man, they uh, may have that extra range, but once you hit that maximum range of theirs, they're like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, World of Light for balancing Olimar a little bit. <laughs> and they said single player modes were useless for competitive. Oof. Oh my goodness, Austin, those up airs, when he's coming up, can be so dangerous. Austin, no you're a monster. But it doesn't matter. You're a monster. Who goes I, down there? And especially to challenge Olimar, right? Yeah. That's such a great recovery. Oh, that back air is going to do it. Red is so strong. Army percents climbing, and he's definitely reaching kill percents for uh, the light boy that he is. That back throw, not going to do it, but that's going to be a lot of more damage. And he gets that red pick went on him. Mm -hmm. Weaving around the whistle, and that forward air takes the game, pushes it with 1-1. We're going to a last game situation between Army and Austin, a set that uh, you know both players have won in the past. Yeah, and uh, pretty even between these two, actually. I think out of every single player matchup, of course, everybody in this bracket, uh, left in this bracket, has taken sets off of Austin before, although Army is the only one to have taken a tournament off of Austin and has actually done so more than a couple of times. He is the most even with him so far and could be looking to improve that record even more. Mm -hmm. Going into game three, this is on his counterpick. 
And I think he chose Unova, which means that he's going to be able to sit under those platforms and hopefully get those extensions with the up smashes with the Pikmin that he was missing out on last time. Because the platforms cover up so much of the stage. The big ones. Well, we're going to Unova now, a little bit more close quarters, a little bit uh, closer side blast zones, but higher on the top. We'll see if that makes a huge difference coming through. It is a little bit more close and personal than PS2. Uh, as far as the stage link goes. And a little bit taller on those platforms as well, so... What kind of changes Army can use? Most likely for Army, though, that will mean that when he uses those Pikmin to get those smash attacks to set up onto those platforms, it will probably put Austin in a weird situation where he probably has to tech. He's got to do more than just that right now. He's got to maneuver around the edge guards from Army, but once again, that air dodge is so big for him. Here we go, Austin's in at a pretty high percent. He could definitely die to the right hit here, but he's firing back. He's got advantage. The Ooh. back back air crossing over Austin. He wasn't ready. Beefy with the purple pick, my dude. Again, he gets caught on the platform where he wants to drop down with an aerial. I've seen that so many times with him. Especially tonight, that's like the second or third. Mm -hmm. We don't really, That's like normally a once every couple weeks kind of thing for him. Oh my gosh, no jump. He has an air dodge, but he air dodged into the smash attack. Whoa. Army's up three stocks to one on Austin's tournament stock right now. All he's got to do is continue this game plan. You know, he's been sticking under these platforms, using these Pikmin to get those setups. And Austin's, mm -hmm. look at that. Austin's like, ha ha, I have center stage. What will you do? And Army says, I uh, throw a Pikmin. Yeah. And Austin, Austin says, oops. <laughs> Stuck at the ledge. Not really get anything. That up smash so big. Ooh! Austin sitting at kill percent for sure. All it takes is one smash attack from Army to do it, but a back throw with all that rage. Austin has but a shadow of a chance, but a shadow of a chance is still a chance. Watch out for the aerial. Oh, he tried to up smash him. Wow. Watch out for the purple up smash. He is fine with running away after that hits him on shield. That one, though, was A-OK -okay because Army only had the one Pikmin. So even though Woo! that up smash was safe, he couldn't do anything with it. Austin's shifting his momentum. Army's just desperately trying to find that last hit. He's got the blue Pikmin, which means that grab is on the table. So long as he has it, he does that up smash to get it back to blue, and he has the chance to get it. Austin's scrambling right now. Realizes that the grab is on the table. Uh, Bear does even it back up on stocks, and Army needs to center himself, man. He's got to reset up that lineup. He does have a blue, but that's all that he's holding on to. I think he needs to shield more when Austin takes to the air because he's been landing with aerials so much, and if he's trying to get that grab, he's got to wait for that whiff punish. But Austin is so close to bringing this back. He crossed him up. Army wasn't ready. Austin's running up and shielding a lot. I'm waiting for Army to just scoop him up with that pick. Still got the that blue. Grab. Army's got plenty of Pikmin to do the job right now. Back throw is going to set him up. Yep, that's it. Austin is going to try to go for that PK Thunder 2 because he wants the comeback. Now it's not necessary, though, at 74. Olimar's so light. Austin, Oh my is gosh. he going the distance? Is he going for speed? No! Army will finish it out on the final lap and take it 2-1. Austin nearly had the comeback in his hands, but pulled away at just the last second, and he's out at fourth place. This is a historic event. Not only is the first time that Austin has dropped a tournament, uh, an ultimate shockwave to somebody other than Trella, mm -hmm. uh, this is the first time, note that he's had tournaments, ultimate shockwaves where both ECM no, and No, that's MVP incorrect. He lost one to Lima as well. Oh, you're right. You're right, he did. Uh, this is the first time in a while that he's lost one to either uh, th that wasn't Lima to somebody or that was not Trello. formerly on the PGR. Yeah, but also this is the first time that Austin has lost and not just placed second. Yeah, this he's is the first time we're not seeing Austin getting grands when he's entered, mm -hmm. and that is just absurd. Absolutely. to be honest, and it's because he went into losers so early. He had one tournament. Uh, where he did go down to Tibbs, I believe, mm. and then went into losers and was able to make the run all the way to grand finals, but this time just ran out of steam, man. And what's this is probably the most stacked shock, ultimate shock right